Hi, my name is Teacher Eva. Today, students should be able to compare and contrast the male gamete with the female gamete in the reproductive systems. Let's recall back. Do you still remember what is the other name of the gametes? Yes, very good. Gametes are also known as reproductive cells. So today, we will compare and contrast between male reproductive cells and female reproductive cells in the reproductive systems. Let's explore. Are you ready to explore with me? Let's continue. So, previously we have understand that both sperm and ovum, number one, are sexual reproductive cells. Number two, they both carry genetic information. Let's compare and contrast. What are the differences between sperm, male gamete and ovum, the female gamete? Let's start with the first comparison, which is the size. Sperm is the smallest cell in the male's body. Meanwhile, the ovum is the largest cell in the female's body. Let's discuss with the second aspect, which is the shape of the cell. Let's start with the sperm. Sperm shape is like a tip pole. Meanwhile, the ovum got spherical in shape with a diameter about 0.1 mm. Let's proceed to number 3, the nucleus. Natural sperm will have two distinguishable parts, a head and a tail. The sperm head is the part of the cell that contains the nucleus. Meanwhile, for the ovum, the nucleus is at the center of the body cells. The nucleus contains genetic and hereditary information to be transferred to the offspring. Move on to number 4, the ability to move. The other important parts of sperm is the tail. The tail enables sperm to move or swim in the semen inside the vagina, uterus, and fallopian tube of the female reproductive system. What about the ovum? Ovum has no tail, so ovum is not able to move by itself. And the other two comparison is based on our prior knowledge. Number 5, sperms is also known as male gamete. Meanwhile, ovum is also known as female gamete. And where are these two being produced? Let's proceed to number 6. Sperm is produced by testes. Meanwhile, ovum is produced by ovary. The normal number of sperms released is 60 million per cubic centimeter and can live up to 3 or 4 days. Meanwhile, a normal woman usually produces one ovum per month and can live up to two days after release. And I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you and bye.